Ma'am and high tops here. Okay, so this is an update video. I have water. This was a birthday present, by the way. Um, I had a giant water bottle, and it got taken to the park by some family members, and it accidentally got pushed off a picnic table because they were horsing around, and it kind of cracked. So I got a new one for my upcoming birthday, but because I needed it like really badly for school because I need a big water bottle for school, they got me this. This is 32 ounce. It's from Walmart. I don't know how much it was. Alright, so into my update video, let's start with May. Um, I got my hair cut. No, my hair is not cut this short. Like, I have a ponytail. Ponytail. Yes, my hair is actually shoulder length. Um, I got it cut because if you saw my last video, which was a while ago, sorry about that. Um, um, the weather has been really shaky. So, seriously, the day I cut my hair, it was 85 degrees. I think it was it was 85 or higher. Like I know it was really really hot. Maybe it was 90. And then the next day, for the next five days, it did nothing but pour. I cut my hair because it was so hot and I was just overheating, so I just wanted to cool off. Um, right. That was my short antidote for that, which is kind of my segue. It's not a segue at all. My birthday Saturday. Um, I will be turning 19. And this kind of brings me into my June stuff. So, back in November, I set up a whole bunch of goals. And I shared them with you at the end of December. And one of my goals was to have 100 subscribers by December. I, as of... An hour ago when I checked had 36 and then I checked my average views because I was trying to get like a guesstimate about how many people watch my videos and how practical this was and I think it's fairly practical to get 15 subscribers Technically, I only need 14 to reach my goal, but I'm rounding up to 15 because I think that'll be just easier for everybody to remember. Um, 15 new subscribers by the end of June. I think that would be a great birthday present from the interwebs to me because I am constantly trying to spread positivity. Um, I am one of those people who is constantly saying, instead of focusing on what you hate, how about you spread what you like? And when I say stuff like that, people usually tell me I'm really innocent or naive. Um, I'm not innocent or naive. I understand there are fuckboys in the world. I understand there are 12-year-old trolls. I know that all trolls are 12 years old, but they sure act like it. Just gonna put that out there. Um, yes, so, my, my, this has become like a recent thing in the last couple months. Um, basically, be the change you want to see. Put the positivity you want in the world. So, there's that. Um... So next is, I'm graduating next month, I'm gonna be a high school graduate, maybe, if I pass all my classes, basically. If I fail any of my classes, I have to take 0.5 credit over, seriously. If, if, if I fail one class, I'm gonna purposely fail another class so that I don't have to go to high school just for one class a day, because that is not worth my time. I have no problem with being a super senior, if if that it wasn't clear. Um, I feel like everybody learns differently, and everybody needs a education slightly geared towards them. And I take an online class, 
um, and I do two classes at school, and then I do another class, so, like, if I pass all my classes, um, I will graduate, if I don't, I, like I said, I'll have to take it over, but I feel like everyone needs education geared towards them and not the masses. I feel like education should be an individual thing. I'm not saying everybody needs an individual teacher, um, but what I am saying is not everybody learns the same and because I'm dyslexic, dyslexic and then I got depressed, school got 20 times harder. Yeah, so there's that. And then my last big piece of moving for June slash July, um, I'm moving. Um, I've talked about this a little bit before. Um, I'm moving to New York with my family. Um, my brother's in the Navy and he's being shipped. And because the military, when you're in the military and you're moving, they will move your stuff for you. Because I know moving is stressful, and especially when you're going to a, com a new command, it's even more stressful. So, <laughs> they're they're kind of nice about this, actually. They will move your stuff for you for free. Um, yeah. And they will pla replace anything they break. Just gonna, just gonna say that. Um, so, because the Navy's moving us, um, and my brother leaves his command in the middle of June and doesn't have to be there until the middle of July. Um we get to take a road trip. Which is kind of cool. Um this road trip so far is going to include um going to a family reunion for four days. Um, it's going to include seeing Mount Rushmore for the third time, for the th third year in a row. But, you know, the first year I didn't really like the way we saw it. We didn't actually get into the park. We didn't pay to get into the park. There are a bunch of turn-offs along the mountain and stuff, and you can see it, and you can pull off, and you can take really amazing pictures, and that's what we did the first year we saw it. Um, the second year we actually went to Mount Rushmore, and we went and we did the museum stuff, and it's really cool and educational, so I suggest you go do it. Um, but this time we're gonna spend three days there, because the little town Keyport that is attached to, uh, the National Park is amazing. It's, it's a tourist town, but it's gear is not just geared towards really, really expensive vacation people. There's cheap museums, like I think the most expensive museum is $15 a person, and that's still fairly good because it's like a really big museum, so. Um, yeah, that's really all I have for that. For my other news that really doesn't pertain to a timeline per se, but I am going to be doing road trip vlogs. I'm not going to be making them daily vlogs. Um, I'm going to be filming short clips here and there of interesting things or taking pictures and doing voiceovers explaining what they are. So there's that. Um, another thing is, so I used to do these like a long time ago. They're called uh, story time videos. Um, I used to do them and I used to call them the time I fill in the blank. Um, I only did like five of them and I really enjoyed doing them. But they were, like, my least viewed videos, and at the time, I was kind of concerned with getting views and subscribers, because I had a whole bunch of people, not, like, on the videos, but, like, in general comment, that I was not getting anywhere, and that I should just stop, because I wasn't popular. And apparently, every YouTuber I have ever watched, they have become popular within the like first year of them being 
like on YouTube and popular to me is having more than 3,000 subscribers so I kind of feel like I'm way behind that because like I stated I only had 36 um, I don't really care about subscribers or views or YouTube as a career I want to be a teacher I've stated that before what I care about is, like I said, sending positivity into the world. And I feel like the more people who watch somebody who is positive and sending positive messages into the world will be more likely to be positive themselves or be a troll. By the way, stop being 12 years old. Grow up. Right. Just going to put that out there. So there's that. Um, Like I said, I'm going to be doing story time videos again because I really enjoyed them um so instead of me rambling on like I do in most of my videos though I'm gonna save basically all my stories and every time I have like three to seven stories fitting like the same like theme I'm going to make a story time video because Unless I have a really good story that deserves its own video, I think that we should just, I should have a couple stories in one video. Um, I'm not going to make the titles clickbaity. Um, I'm not going to make the thumbnails clickbaity. I just, I really hate clickbaity stuff. Um, and then it being the totally opposite. Um, all of my things are actually going to be related to the video because that's kind of what they always are. Um, this video is really long. Um, I'm going camping this weekend for my birthday, so you won't get a video from me Saturday, you'll get one from me Monday instead, and then Wednesday, and then Saturday, and then Wednesday, and then Saturday. And then, I have no clue what's happening. I am going to film a whole bunch of videos tomorrow afternoon, after I do my homework, of course. <laughs> I've been coming home, and like the moment I get home, I automatically get a snack, something to drink, and I do my homework. That's like my ritual when I get home from the school now. I don't know what clicked, just something clicked, and I automatically do it now. So there's that. Alright, well, I'm gonna go if... If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Um, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Um, share this video, like this video. Um, and I have actually a question for you guys. Um, what's your favorite place to vacation? It doesn't have to be, like, something big. It can be somewhere small. Like, my favorite place was San Diego. Um, yeah. And if you guys haven't seen those videos, they're on my channel somewhere. I'm not going to find the links for you because that was, like, a while ago. Oh, my phone just vibrated again. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. This has been Mayhem and High Tops. If you can't tell, I'm a little stuffy. I don't know why I'm stuffy. Bye, guys. <laughs>